Hello guys, welcome to this video. Welcome to Shibai. I'm so glad you're watching this video. Today we're going to be making tomato sauce. This is a really easy, really chunky, really quick tomato sauce recipe, so I hope you like it. Basically, my aunt always used to make this um, first like issue potatoes. Shout out to Auntie Grace, I love you so much. Um, <laughs> And um, so, and she always used to like overcook it in my opinion. Like, the sauce used to get really, really dark. You know how Nigerians like to fry stew? She's not Nigerian. But you know how Nigerians like to fry stew? So, one day she was making it and then she stopped halfway to go to the market. So, she just put it off. Then, me, I was hungry. So, I came to the kitchen and I want to cook it with some rice. And I was like, what is this that I'm eating? Because, like, it became like the tomatoes became really, really sweet and nice. And all the vegetables were still like. Like they still had a bite, but then it was still really sweet and nice and together. And then she was like, "Oh, it's not even done." Blah blah blah. I was like, "Do not, do not, do not dare cook this thing anymore. It is perfect." So since that day, guys, I've been eating this thing with rice, and like it's just really nice. You could eat it with pasta. You could still eat it with potatoes as well. It's really easy, really simple. And so far, what are we doing? We've done two bread recipes. We've done a tomato sauce recipe. So guess what is coming next, guys? But I hope you enjoyed this one. It's really simple, really basic. It doesn't take so long at all. It's a one pot recipe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you try it out in your own kitchen. And all the recipe details, the ingredient list, the method is in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for watching. See you. Okay, guys, so for this recipe, we have really easy ingredients. First of all, one small or half of a large green bell pepper three tomatoes and one red chili or just one red pepper like atarodo or scotch bonnet one onion one clove of garlic you could also add some ginger and we have stock cubes salt some chili flakes you could also add black pepper so start off with heating some oil in a pan then just add in your um, onions and garlic and saute them for a while then add in your tomatoes and your chili pepper and just cook for about five minutes until it starts bubbling and it turns into a sauce you can see here that everything is cut quite chunky you could also just like um, break them down in a food processor but then I really like the chunkiness of this sauce it gives it a nice, nice texture and like, nice flavor then you can go in with all your spices and just mix everything together keep cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can add in your green bell pepper close to the time when you think your sauce is reaching the right consistency I don't like cooking green bell pepper for too long because it turns like it loses its color and it gets soggy and it just changes the taste and it doesn't become it doesn't stay so sweet so add your green bell pepper towards the end then just cook for like five more minutes and literally that is it everything is still chunky we can see the seeds of the tomatoes we can see the pieces of tomatoes and peppers and i feel like that's just the lovely thing about this sauce obviously you can cook it more if your tomatoes are a bit sour you could add a bit of honey or sugar but basically this is it it's really lovely really simple you can see here i have um a charred Rem, a charred green chili pepper with it and i just ate it with rice on this day guys and it was beautiful and amazing just, just the way it is and this sauce is just like really sweet it has like a bit of a soupy but um really nice texture it goes amazing with rice and i really hope you try this out in your own kitchen thank you so much for watching guys bye